Welcome back to our daily series on corporate emissions. Today we're focusing on Procter & Gamble, a multinational consumer goods corporation with a diverse portfolio of products ranging from personal care to home care items. In their 2022 climate change report, P&G has set a new ambition to achieve net zero greenhouse gas emissions across its operations and supply chain, from raw material to retailer, by 2040. They have also set interim 2030 goals to make meaningful progress this decade. Their 2030 goals, which have been submitted to the Science-Based Targets Initiative, SBTI, for approval, include reducing emissions across their operations by 50% and reducing emissions across their supply chain by 40%. P&G's supply chain and logistics emissions from raw material to retailer are about 10 times that of their operations. They have set a goal to reduce these emissions by 40% by 2030. They are also planning to increase transportation efficiency of outbound finished products by 50% by 2030. Now let's delve deeper into P&G's supplier engagement strategy as outlined in their 2022 CDP Climate Report. This strategy involves annually collecting climate change and carbon information from their suppliers. However, their focus is on their largest raw and pack suppliers, as they have many small suppliers that do not significantly contribute to Scope 3 emissions. This engagement covers about 5% of their suppliers by number. This subset of suppliers accounts for approximately 54% of their total procurement spend and an estimated 54% of their supplier-related Scope 3 emissions. The engagement is informed by a survey conducted via Ecovatus, where suppliers provide information about their climate change efforts. The impact of this engagement strategy has led to a greater understanding of supplier efforts on climate change. This understanding will inform P&G's supplier strategy and complement their efforts to move towards net zero supply chain GHG emissions by 2040. It's important to note that P&G has set an ambition to engage with a meaningful percentage of suppliers by spend. They have successfully collected data from over 50% of their suppliers, which is a significant step towards their ultimate goal of collaboration and innovation for sustainability. This data collection is not the end point, but rather the beginning of a journey towards deeper engagement with their suppliers to drive meaningful change in their supply chain emissions. In conclusion, P&G's approach to managing their Scope 3 emissions is multifaceted, involving efforts to reduce their own emissions, to work with suppliers, to design more sustainable products, and to help consumers make more sustainable choices. While they've made significant progress, they acknowledge the challenges ahead and are committed to continuing their efforts to reduce their environmental impact. As consumers, it's important for us to stay informed about these issues and to support companies that are taking steps towards sustainability. That's all for today's episode. Stay tuned for our next deep dive into corporate emissions, where we'll continue to explore how the world's biggest companies are tackling the challenge of climate change. Thanks for watching.